All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. And his only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rachak, Wadash, double honor, speaking to the apostles and others that great most on who rule well and taught us this 100% truth. Much peace and blessings, man, to you, who would like that to push not this word of thought, truth, and sincerity. To all you, Alchemist, say Shalom. I am the Akira. I am from the servants, Yahweh, Yahushai, Cam, coming in with the, you know, quick kick money to our Lord on change. So this is the book of Psalms, the 89th chapter, verse. <clears throat> All right, the verse 34, it says, My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my mouth. And that's the Heavenly Father speaking. All right, my covenant will I not break, nor alter, alter me and change, you know, the tweak a bit. So, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my mouth, my lips, my lips. And why? Because we go into the, Isaiah, the 55th chapter. <clears throat> And it makes the mention in verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing which I sent it. So whatever the Lord has declared, that's what's going to happen. All right, it's not going to change his mind. Yeah, that's not how the Lord works, man. All right, everything has a purpose. All right, it's, you know, you be the verses above, verses above it says, For my thoughts and not your thoughts. All right, so however the Lord, you know, has things play out, he had it for a reason. You know, and also this we just going to our uh, the Lord will show mercy upon him will show mercy too. And with that being said, if you don't want to, you know, show you mercy, and he declares that, then, he, then you're not going to receive mercy. And he is, as an example, but this is the book of I'm gonna right here. You know, it's the quick quick hit, the book of Malachi, the third chapter, verse six. It says, "For I am the Lord; I change not." Therefore, he says that Jacob are not consumed. All right. So, you know, therefore, you sons of Jacob not consumed because there was a point where the Lord, back in the ancient world, when Moses was on the scene, there was a point where when Jacob pissed out the Lord so bad, the Lord decided to uh, up and destroy the whole nation of Israel and start a new nation through the loins of Moses. But ultimately, the Lord had it to where uh, he, he would be swayed out of it, you know, through Moses' speech. So Moses told him to not do that and, and, and forgive them. The Lord repented for what he said. <clears throat> And, uh, you know, we've never been destroyed. But he's going to come back and destroy two-thirds of the nation of Israel. But leave a remnant. That's why it says, therefore, Esau and Jacob are not consumed. Hey, because then we would have been at Sodom and Gomorrah. But, you know, like in Isaiah, the first chapter makes the mention, you know, the water Yalba, Shemim, Shai, you know, the Lord left us a remnant, you know. But, you know, just a quick, you know, quick hit going into that. Love with the lesson was edifying to the next one. I say, Shalom.